Academy Awards, which highlight the best movies of the year, will be held this year on February 26th at the Kodak Theater in Los Angeles, and will be hosted by Billy Crystal, although our host is Bennett Durando. They look alike, don't you think? The most prestigious award is Best Picture of the Year. The Academy can nominate between five and ten movies for Best Picture. This year, there are nine nominations. A lot of picks and students probably haven't seen these movies, because they aren't always geared towards teenagers, and sometimes they are rated R. I'm going to tell you a little about each movie nominated this year. Welcome to the Hickson Academy Awards, or as we could call them, the Huskies. I'm your host, Bennett Durando, but no one really cares about that, so let's get started. Today we feature favorite movies and videos of Hickson students. Over the weekend is the Real Academy Awards, known as the Oscars, but we don't care about many of those films. Colin will be telling you more about the nominated Oscar movies later. So Hickson has made their own choices. We also bring new awards such as Best Video Games, Best YouTube Video, Dullest Movie, and more. Which movies will win? Lots of students enjoy the Harry Potter movies, the Twilight movies, and the Pirates of the Caribbean. But will they get anything? It's time to find out. So let's start our show now. nominees are Twilight Series, Pirates of the Caribbean, Harry Potter, Step Up, and Titanic in 3D. Hottest music artists are Nicki Minaj, Lil Wayne, Drake, Beyonce, and Future. And the nominees for the best TV show are How I Met Your Mother, Pretty Little Liars, Jersey Shore, Adventure Time, and SpongeBob SquarePants. And the best five band nominees are Cimarelli the Band, Black Eyed Peas, Never Shout Never, Green Day, and My Chemical Romance. The nominees for the YouTube videos are A Very Potter Musical, Super Bass by Nicki Minaj, Big Shine Dance, Someone Like You by Adele, and Rolling in the Deep by Adele. The nominees for the hottest actors are Orlando Bloom, Alex Pettifer, Jude Law, Tom Felton, and Johnny Depp. And the winner for the best student web show is The Hickson Web Show! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our Dulles Movie Award. We will be giving what students say are the five worst movies ever. We're going to count down from five and give the top, or is it bottom, award last. Now, time for number five. Number five goes to The Lightning Thief. The Lightning Thief is based on Rick Riordan's best-selling series opener to the Percy Jackson books. The plot line of the movie is horribly twisted when compared to the novel. In fact, it would be much easier to contrast the film and the book. This has caused much rage among Percy Jackson readers. And number four goes to Man on a Ledge. In this film, a man prepares to jump to his death from a, top an, from a ledge atop an inn. Basically, the authorities cannot convince the man to get off the ledge, and the movie is spent in a boring state. And number three goes to all the high school musical movies. This trilogy is a this is a trilogy featuring a star basketball player, a member of an advanced sciences club, and well, there's no other description for it, a Sharpay. In these movies, the main characters and all of their friends must unite and sing a bunch of cheesy songs. And number two is The Sound of Music. The Sound of Music is a musical from the nineteen fifties, which at the time was a great musical. Now it has become a very dull musical with a very old-fashioned soundtrack. The main character, who becomes a maid, falls deeply and very cheesily in love. This sets a domino effect of ear-piercing songs. We should add, though, that Webster Groves High School did a really nice job with The Sound of Music last fall. And the grand prize of the dullest movie category, as determined by the students, is educational movies in general. 
Some movies designed for education are lacking in plot and action. Many students would definitely include educational movies in their top five dullest. But we're not saying that all educational movies are dumb, on the contrary. Some can be very exciting, and the ones used by teachers at Hickson are the best, although we'd definitely like to congratulate educational movies for their first place breakthrough. Hugo is based in the popular book, The Adventures of Hugo Cabret. Hugo is an orphan boy who lives inside the walls of a Paris railway station and keeps the clocks running in the 1930s. He meets a man who owns a toy shop and they end up having a surprising connection. Midnight in Paris is a comedy about an American who wants to be a writer and is visiting Paris with her fiance, with his fiance and her family. Magically, he finds a passage back to the 1920s where he meets great writers and artists like Ernest Hemingway, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Josephine Baker, and Pablo Picasso. Moneyball is a true story about baseball's Oakland A's and their general manager, Billy Bean. Billy Bean's statistics predict wins. This is a great movie for baseball fans. The Artist is a silent movie about a silent movie actor having to beat the arrival of talking movies. He doesn't want to make talking movies because he thinks they won't last. Well, as we know, they do. This movie may be worth seeing just for the cute dog. The Descendants is about a man who lives in Hawaii and all of his ancestors. After a boating accident, his wife is in a coma and doctors say she won't come out of it. He has to tell his daughters and prepare for being a single parent. The Help is based on a book of the same name. It takes place in Jackson, Mississippi in the 1960s and confronts the racial tension of the times especially between white housewives and their black maids. In it, a young woman interviews the maids and writes a book from their perspective. The Tree of Life is a thought-provoking movie about childhood and the loss of innocence. A lot of unusual scenes have kept this movie from being mainstream, so not very many people have seen it. The basic plot is about two boys growing up with a very strict father. War Horse is about a boy who enlists to fight in World War I to find his horse. It's a very action-packed movie that's emotional as well. Maybe some of you have seen it. Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close, another movie adapted from a novel, is about a young boy who lives in New York City whose father died in the World Trade Towers during 9-11. He finds a key in his father's closet and becomes obsessed with finding out what the key opens, thinking it's a message from his dead father. So those are the nominated movies for this year. Maybe you've seen some of them. We are going to talk about some recently released movies and upcoming movies we think Hickson students might like. Dr. Seuss, The Lorax, The Extinction of Trees will come back to their world. This movie opens March 2nd. Mirror Mirror is a classic, a classic Snow White story with a wrinkle in the story experience. It is The Untold Adventures of Snow White and also opens in March. Madagascar 3 is coming this summer. The characters join the circus in Monte Carlo to keep from getting killed by animal control. It will be in 3D. Men in Black, Black 3 also comes out this summer. Will Smith's character is trying to find his partner Kay. He's not sure he's alive. The Secret World of Ariadne opens this week. It's a story about the little borrowers and Ariadne's mom is kidnapped. Who will help find her? And last but not least, the Hunger Games comes out over spring break. <laughs>